Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here on the shores of Goat Refuge Lake with some freshly made wild blackberry syrup. Full quarts here, folks. We aren't messing around with any small jars here right now. We, we got a crop and we're processing it. This is highly concentrated wild blackberry syrup. Very thick, very delicious and nutritious and um, I think we need to talk a little bit about just what this is if you've ever tasted the blackberries from the store you've gone to a you pick to these thornless uh, blackberries they can't compare to this wild I mean the people who live out here in the country they know that they make little pies and turnovers and things from this wild blackberry they know how good this is but I'm telling you, I've done the test and I've looked into it. And there's another factor to consider. Not only are you consuming this syrup like on your pancakes, but this is diluted with a little water to make a drink. And I don't mean just a little water. You can go 1 to 20 with this. 1 to 30. I, yesterday I was doing 1 to 10 with some cold water. And you had to you stir it up good, but then you get to the bottom of the cup and, and it's getting more concentrated. And you just wait a minute, it's already too sweet, it's sweet, it's concentrated. Uh, so it's you're getting a lot of dilutable um, concentrate here that you can make drinks with. Now, let's talk about honey. Now, you buy you know, a pint of honey or a quart of honey, let's get a full quart of honey, that's an investment. It's going to last a while. Honey's great. Baking the bread with a honey. Put it in on some biscuits with some butter. Uh, I'm just sipping it sometimes on a trip. I'll just take sips of it, spoons, or just right out of a squirt bottle. I'll have some milk with it. Milk and honey. But have you ever tried to dilute honey and drink it like a drink? Uh, it's just not right. It just doesn't taste right. Diluted watered down it doesn't mix good with water and you can't make preserves and things with it. this stuff this blackberry syrup you can bake with this <laughs> you can make all kinds of um you can make all kinds of turnovers and things from this you don't have the blackberry seeds because unless you buy the separate you know get the separate preserves but um you can do a lot more with this syrup including very refreshing drinks the cold drinks here in the summer, they're just just wonderful with this. It's got all the right sweetness and tartness and everything and just in itself with the cold water. And you can dilute it and it's great. And I tried to do that with the thornless blackberries, folks. And it was not right. It was, that lost the sweetness, it lost the flavor. Um... You know, it just wasn't the same. The seeds are bigger in those berries too. When it when you have the preserves, if you just make a drink using the preserve, and the seeds are like too big in those ones. But um, that's it. That's today's make. Um, seven seven quarts. That's a gallon and three quarters of concentrated blackberry syrup here at Escambia Lakes, and we're going to try to pick some more before the season's over. I, I, I can't say it would be another week. They're all going to be burned up and gone by then. They're all going to be going to seed and no more fresh berries coming. So um, now's the time. It's it's hard to fit in the work. It's You're out in the heat, and there's you're dealing with all the thorns, and there's other work you need to do during the day. You need to take a, day, a break. I'm going to go out there in the heat. I'm telling you, you're drinking ice water, and still you're getting knocked out out in the sun and you can't go through the whole midday i, I can't uh, and I'm, I'm the guy that can work outdoors folks uh but it's just wonderful the wild blackberry syrup and at the scambia lakes you're gonna see so much more of this we're growing acres out on sandy flats fortifying the soil lots of rows lots and lots and lots of 150 foot rows there we're doing all kinds of other plots around the property a row here, row there, different soil types too, it's great. But 
It likes sandy soil. It likes rich soil. It likes wood. It likes decaying wood. Compost and decaying wood. Lots of decaying wood. That's what, that's what we know about blackberries. We've taken a great lesson from the wild blackberries that grow in the wild. With no irrigation, by the way, folks. We've got irrigation. we got sprinklers going out to these meadows. Expanding the sprinklers out there. And we've got miles of drip line that we're going to be installing in places. But these blackberries thrive and produce massive harvests. 100% on rainfall. Not any irrigation whatsoever out in the wild, as we've observed in places um, out here. Where, where there's the sunlight and where it's thriving and growing well so we love it and uh we hope you can uh enjoy some too it's um such a wonderful um discovery and I, you don't get this down at walmart folks it's wild blackberry syrup escambia lakes brand please just look us up follow us and um help support the goats you know a third of every dollar that goes into these products goes to the goats to their fencing their their uh, all their health care their their nutrition all their feed that gets them through the winter uh, all the practices and all oh, believe me there's a lot of practices a lot of things that need to be done for the goats and Thank the goats for this and their, their compost that enriches the soil too and support the goats with by buying some of this Escambia Lakes blackberry syrup, please. Thank you so much.